Hey what is up guys and welcome to a new Camp 5 tutorial. Today we are going to be covering or should I say recovering a plugin called Multiverse Core. Now why am I redoing the tutorial? Well <laughs> it's quite simple actually. The original one sucked, the audio was horrible, you know all that good stuff. So we're basically going to be redoing it. Uh, it's a fairly simple straightforward tutorial so if you're not looking for something too basic and you want to get into more advanced stuff I recommend just clicking the link down below it'll take you to the multiverse core wiki which should explain how to create more of the advanced types of worlds that you're looking for in multiverse core so what is multiverse core well it's a plugin that allows you to support multiple worlds on your server usually a server can only support three basic worlds the regular world nether and end with multiverse core you can create an infinite amount of worlds by infinite, I mean whatever your server's memory can hold. Uh, so, let's basically just get started. The command is mv, and that'll show you a list of all the commands. There's six pages for multiverse. Um, I'm going to show you some of the more basic commands, of course. So, if you ever wanted to see the list of worlds on your server, you do slash mv list. That'll bring up all the worlds on your server currently. If you ever were to upload a world to your server, I, I will provide a guide for that in the description below, but if you ever were to upload a world to your server, you would simply import it to your server using this command, mv import world name, and you want to do normal. What is normal? Normal is your world. Normal. Nothing special about it. You're not doing a flat world, you're not doing a void world, it, it's completely normal it's gonna import the world as is and that's how you want it you do not want to import the world with some kind of special generator otherwise it's likely going to break your world so just stick with normal unless you have some specific thing you're doing to create a world you do slash mv create world name and then whatever you want the generator to be so we could do slash t flat uh, that'll make a flat world we could do normal, would make it a normal world. So why don't we create a normal world just for the example here. Uh, say we wanted to call it hub. If we just type that little command, it'll create the hub for us. And then after the world is created, I'm going to type mv list to just show you that it's actually added to the list itself. So let's do slash mv list. As you can see, hub dash normal. That's how we created it. And to teleport to a specific world on that list, you do slash mvtp world name. In this case, we're going to do hub. Now it's going to bring us to the world. That was really weird. That beacon glitched. Anyway, as you can see, uh, that's called a horrible render distance. A, we are now in the hub world. We can actually do slash mvinfo. It'll tell us the world information of the world we're in. Uh, difficulty easy, game mode survival, world name hub. So lots of cool stuff. You can also think do things like more advanced stuff like set prices. Say it costs fifty dollars to enter X world, like PvP or something, something of those sorts. Uh, that's basically a general rundown of what you can do with this plugin. Uh, you can also do things with a plugin I highly recommend called Clean Room Generator. What is Clean Room Generator? Clean Room Generator allows you to take Multiverse Core and completely create worlds that are completely custom. Uh, a good example is a void world, which I actually am using right now. If I do slash MVTP Clean Room, I am actually using a completely void world to create a custom spawn with my admin and co owner, Hobo Donkey. So, yeah. This is it. Look at that beautiful render distance. Uh, you can also do all sorts of other things with this, such as creating worlds that have like one layer of bedrock, five layers of grass, 64 stone. Why don't we take one of these as just as an, an example? So this one right here is going to create a map with one layer of bedrock and five layers of magneta wool or magenta wool. Wow, my pronunciation. So we're going to type that in. I'm going to change clean room to clean room 2 just for simplistic purposes. We're going to allow that to create and we're going to do mvtp clean room 2. 
and yes this is exactly what you can expect to see a fully magenta out world if you actually go down to that you will see the one layer of bedrock if you break through it void world some other cool things you might want to know is how to delete a world so let's go back to just the regular clean room the one i'm building my spawn on just to be safe you don't want to be standing in the world while you're deleting that world bad things are going to happen so let's do mv list to see we created the two worlds hub and clean room 2 let's get rid of those with slash mv delete world name so we're going to do hub you got to type mv confirm that way it'll actually remove that world let's do it again with mv delete clean room 2 mv confirm now if you look they're going to be completely removed I'm going to give a fair warning to every server owner out there right now. It's extremely important you know this, otherwise there's a chance you're going to break your server. Please, please do not upload too many worlds to your server. What could happen if you do it? Well, your server is going to run out of memory for one. What happens when it runs out of memory is it'll shut down, it won't start up. It'll refuse to. It'll say, not enough memory. That's it. You'll get errors, your plugins won't start up, and then the server will crash, giving you an out of memory error. So please, say you're using MC Pro Hosting and you have a Dirt Plan server, the most I'm going to recommend you have is one extra world. Try not to go overboard, please, because what's going to end up happening, your server is going to die, you're going to be upset, and just things aren't going to go well. Uh, so guys, I hope that helped you out pretty much pretty basic tutorial on multiverse core but again I'll have the wiki page down below if you want to see some of the more advanced stuff on multiverse core so guys I hope you have a wonderful day if you enjoyed please be sure to subscribe leave a like and a comment below if you have any further questions have a wonderful day guys